I am a medical scientist in cancer research. I know the definition of science. I have been trained in science also. I am saying objective and subjective. But object, science is used to be, be trying to find the answers in objective way. That is what science does. And in objective way, you cannot find answer to as something which is subjective. When we think about what the object is, we say the object and subject. The object is what is before our thought, and thought is what we think about the object. If the object is what we think about it as being, or if we can say if the object is what we know it to be, when we speak about what we're saying the object, it's what we're, we know it to be. That knowing what the object is, is a integration of the subject and object. It's not that there is an object opposed to a subject, but there are two different realms. The object is what we know it to be, what our thoughts about it are. It is the actual embodiment of our thoughts, in that sense. See, so there's no difference between subject and object when we come to that level. Although, from a, from a more careful anal philosophical analysis, what we're talking about is being and thought. The object means what is, what is an immediate thought, but what we don't think about in that sense. And as soon as we think about it, that being becomes converted into what we think it is. So thought and being, in many different uh, ancient uh, philosophies, are understood to be identical, although different at the same time. So there's an identity and difference existing between thought and being that has been known for many thousands of years, actually. And Hegel very brilliantly presents it in his philosophy in the more recent times. So this kind of break, breakdown of our opposition that people hold in their mind between objectivity, subjectivity, spirit, matter, and all these things, I was trying to explain in my lecture. There is a, a different way of seeing it. And I think that uh, we can, can best use the word degree. Uh, it's a matter of degree. Spirit is a degree of consciousness. We can say unconsciousness. A spirit that, that knows itself as spirit is a, is a degree of perfect consciousness or complete consciousness. Mm -hmm. So the difference between spirit and matter is one of degree and not one of opposition. Uh, something like you have sound and silence. Now, if you turn up the volume, you have sound. If you turn down the volume, you have science, a silence. But it's not that science, silence, and sound are not connected with one another. They're directly connected. When the volume is up, you hear sound. When the volume is down, you have silence. You understand it's just a matter of degree of attenuation. So consciousness is like that. Matter is attenuated consciousness. And spirit is full consciousness, awakening consciousness. 